right now, Miss Destiny. Okay, Miss Brenda. <clears throat> yes, yeah, Seahood 400 on CA. Yes, yes, yes. The first. I get them on the first. Chaz one is still up. He's okay. good. I talked to him. Okay, gotcha. 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 Don't worry about it, Em. Just, just, I was just saying. It's okay. It's my own fault. It's my own fault. It's no, she, she didn't go to rehab. I understand, you know. Thank you, Chrissy. Okay. Okay. Oh, got her. Honestly, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Chrissy. That gift seems to work well. Uh, tomorrow's the 31st. Oh, yeah, Lynn. Know, so oh, that was cute. Uh, Thank Saturday, you so much, Lynn. Sunday night. I'm not sure. But one of those days, yes, I will have Shannon my Shannon Stark, she Shannon Stark, she has used that one, that cash Thank app in God. the past. I she's wait. not using it now, I don't Honest think. God, I cannot wait. Somebody said Brenda just sent her money on Cash App. For like the whole month. The whole month. Yes, yeah, she's live. Yeah, I, we will in a minute. I have to. Misty, my stuff out. she saw him yeah, once. We'll do that in a minute, yeah. I think a week ago, but it was only for maybe about an hour, is what I was told. Even yeah, though the visit was supposed to be for two hours. You know, I usually go to. Uh, Giant Eagle. Oh, Shanna's phone. It's right by my parents' house. Why do you keep writing at me? I'm Thank like, you, Again, Lynn. what? Again, what? I gotta reset? Not really, if the kids aren't here. Not really, ma'am, if the kids aren't here. So, if you still really get like stamps, call, but, but it's um, gonna be reduced. I will, yeah. There There's are less like people in the household. Hi, Narissa. You know? So no, she's using what? Sea Hood four hundred or seven hundred? No, PA babe. Hello. Um. I mean, said she uses China card for us. Yes, um, tattered Virgo. That's what I've heard. Four hundred. Okay, I'm gonna put it in the chat, and um, maybe if um, mods can report it. Or I can put it in the chat too. Check go on Friday. Well, we're talking about food stamps. I don't get a check. Chicken, chicken. It is. It's much cheaper and better. I can't wait. I cannot wait. Uh, pink and purple. Pink and purple. Yep, chicken and smokes. Chicken and cigs. Chicken and Newports. Wow. Thank you, Narissa. It's like a really gross ice cream flavor. Chicken and Newports. <laughs> Chicken and new pork. What a combination. Uh, what a combination. Chicken and cigarettes. Oh. Thank you for reporting the cash app. Yeah. Now she wants the new ports. The Mavericks aren't good enough anymore, I guess. Okay. Please get in my um Fancy Fancy. It's so much steeper. Ten secrets. Freaking YouTube again. Mm -mm. Is somebody yeah, streaming we'll on YouTube? Probably, um, Somebody's probably streaming on YouTube. Give yeah. it to me on the second. Yeah. Mm, yeah, she needs Mountain Dew too. Probably. They don't. If they want to help Miss Jane, they can help. If they don't, um, that's okay. Okay, you guys can leave and go do that. Please don't try to piss me off. Mm -mm. Thank you for reporting the cash app. No, not that Cherry Berry. She has not said she she's she lied and said there was no visit today. <laughs> At least that's what it sounded like. She, she said oh, you know what you're talking about. There was no visit today. Gabby, get the numbers. Get the numbers. Mm -mm. That's something they're trying. Mm mm. Mm mm. Just I, block the numbers. Guess Abby's modding. Please, thank you. Okay, give me a sec. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. It sounds like Abby might be there. I need twenty. Talking like that. I don't know. Total. 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 Um, I'm sorry, not that chair, oh, Thank you, Miss Christy. I'm so. trying to be calm as I can. I'm not ungrateful at all. If I was ungrateful, I wouldn't tell them to come in my comments so I could. Or in my messages so I could thank them. Lynn, um, yeah. I was informed by a friend of the paternal yeah, side sorry. of the family. They don't do anything. She actually spoke anything. for spoke to the uh, Jace's Ms. guardian. Stephanie, it's CA. Good question, C Cindy. Roxy, I'm not it's sure. Sometimes CA, people live stream her C -A, C -Hood on YouTube. 
You guys get that? Someone sometimes uh, Trash Panda, sometimes ISYBW, sometimes Nookie fifty one fifty. I had to hang up. I haven't checked, so I'm not sure which one. Thank you, Banana Bread Banana. I still love your name. Banana Bread Banana. Hello. Did you send something, Ms. Hannah? It's C, the letter C, Hood 400. Yeah. Here, pin this, Mom. Thank you, Shell. Pin this. This is it right here. This is mine. C, Hood 400. I'm putting it in the comments if you haven't already recorded. All right, here they come. Watch them. Grab them. Get them. Thank you, Boxer Mom. It's for, it's for food and cigarettes. I did not, ma'am. I'm still on for the same $20. No, I didn't get to go yet. Um, Nadia, she says she wants chicken and cigarettes. Okay, I will, Miss Haley. Because <laughs> I need my new band name, Chicken and Cigarettes. Yes, yes, big ass. Oh, big ass. Is that the name? What are you talking about? Yeah, cigarettes, ma'am. You know. What's her app? If you mean her cash app, I will reply to you no. and let you know the cash app to report. Uh, no, Thank no, you yeah, for reporting. That's what I'm trying to do. Anthony. No pen, Anthony. penny? Not sure. Because I'm trying to Probably. confuse people and it's working. It really is working. We're still playing musical cash apps. Enough. Cab head, Enough. Cab, she Enough. wants money for rugs. No pee pee, baby. She's not no need money for no. she's not need money for food uh, or cigarettes. That's not what she's using it for. <laughs> why would she be why would she be on here every <laughs> few hours asking for twenty dollars? Yes. You know? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah, ten, ten for smokes. You're so ten, funny. Ten for smokes and then ten for food. Sure. Ten for smokes and ten for food. <laughs> Newports cost more than ten dollars. Here we go. Come on, guys. Yeah, chicken and Newports. Oh my gosh, Jennifer. <laughs> that's what she said. She, she, that's cash. what she said she wanted. <laughs> you requested on the one, smart ass. Oh, that's what she said she wanted. Chicken and cigarettes. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, uh. They're not. Ugh. Bye. Bye. Why can't you buy food for 10 bucks? Just for the night, babe. Just for the night. Yeah, see yeah, my 400. Exactly, right Tiff. Oh, please. What do you mean, why again? I haven't. I don't know. Stop answering, Lisa. Somebody said the Sea Hood 400 me. isn't working, so I don't know if that's true, but I'm putting it in here again. Good. A cigarette, yes, the new yes, ports yes, are around yes. 12 bucks a pack in Pennsylvania. Believe me, that's what I smoke. <laughs> yep, I've heard Sometimes it. more. Come on. Antoinette. Crazy. <laughs> Generics are so much cheaper. They're like seven or eight bucks. Yeah, you're lucky. And and if I order them from GoPuff, no, they're twelve ninety nine a pack. Shit, wow. Get them out. Dog food. It's he using dog food, dog food, ma'am. Now she's saying dog food. What? No. Yes, That's he's like that. I don't even think I have. I ever even heard her beg for dog food. Yeah, wow. No, we only saw those posts where she was begging for help with her dog like a long time ago, like on uh, Facebook. Uh, yeah. California girl, because it's not for food. It's not for food. It's for rugs. She looks like she's lost about 40 then, pounds in the last month, girl, unfortunately. Girl, she's not girl. eating. They can do all that. I don't care. Your mom's a moocher bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Your mom's a moocher bitch. Yeah. Uh-huh. Bye. Yep. Yeah, she said before she had plenty of pet food. I know. Ridiculous. None of your business. What happened to your kid? Uh, Nothing happened to mine. Have a good day. Oh. Uh, Okay, block to you too. Jesus. Fucking crazy. Page out of the Black Heart Manual on how to scam. Thank you, no, Angie. We're not sending you anything. Get out. For Annie, I apologize. Thank, Thank you, you, Annie. Thank you, Miss Brandy. Appreciate you.
The dog does have food. He does. I promise. Oh, well, I thought she was just begging for dogs. You, can, you can't request off my CA. So confused. Your mom's messed up. Oh, this fat pig. Oh, my God. Very, yes. Oh, uh -oh. Hi, girl. She called me that yeah, you are about crazy. a week ago. Right. Like, she was huge, bro. Dang. Look, they're making fake CAs. Mm-mm-mm. KLM, that's okay. We'd prefer you watch it here so she doesn't get the views. She got 2.6k over there. So. Oh, we don't care. Come on, they can't help it. I'm rounding them up so they we can get them out. The CA is C hood 400, babe. I don't know if Black Hearts over there. C hood and 400. That's the thing. We get accused of harassing and bullying her, but we're not harassing or bullying her. No, she's exactly. Actually, she's actually harassing and bullying a lot of people. Yeah. You can get yourself out. Uh, yeah, I bet he ain't. It does. It works. It works just fine. We don't care. I mean, we've what literally heard her call people the N-word, the R-slur. Yeah. Oh. We don't care. Just do it. She's called and messaged oh, me God. all hours Jesus of the night. Christ. Yes. He sure has. Get him out. No. I don't use a filter. I don't think that was the reason we I had to do this the other day. Abby I think it was something else. Getting them quicker. Cause they do. They like me. They like me. Twenty dollars, Mr. Shop. If you guys send anything, yep, um, let me know so that. Thank um, you, Beth. Let me know. Get in my comment. Get in my messages. Get in my messages so that I can um get in my me yeah. It's under Anthony. It's under Anthony. It's under Anthony. C Hood four hundred. Yeah, who's Anthony? It's under Anthony. Mm -hmm. That, uh, oh, I know who Anthony is. I looked him up. Oh, really? Yeah, you were busy or else. Right, come on, reset, reset, reset. Really Thank you, Jessica. Mm -hmm. Um, Yep, there we go. Right. Probably another um, plug. Um, <laughs> yeah, but... he looks, he looks, honestly, he looks like a preacher. Really? Yeah. Wow. Oh, I can't send it to you. My other phone died. Yeah, I don't know who all of her mods are offhand. Um, I'm going to check my emails and see if maybe um, some people sent me some information about um, any of the enablers or the mods or anything like that. It could be fake. I mean, I'm not sure. Thank you so much, Jessica. Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, she's probably resetting because she's probably getting reported. I mean, you heard what she said there. She was calling people names and and getting really angry. Um, so, you. yeah, and then she was probably getting reported for the things that she was saying. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll see if she comes back on. I have a feeling she will. I don't really think she got the money yet. So if she did not get the money, you know she will be back on. Um, I, I had another email. Well, thank you for reporting and reporting the cash app. Um, I'm going to put the cash app to report. If you haven't already reported it, I'm putting that here in the chat. This is the one she was using. You can report it as a scam. Um, I can talk about the black hearted thing maybe a little bit. I don't have any of that information right in front of me because we talked about it a couple of days ago. Um, I'd have to look it up. Um, but I wanted to share um, an email that somebody sent in. Um, they said I can share it, but they didn't say if I should give their name or anything. So I won't give it out. But if somebody here wants to claim it, uh, they certainly can. Awesome, 13. Thank you. Um, so here's the message I was sent. Back in 2010, I was two years into an addiction to pain medicine and alcohol. I was drinking all night and using the pain meds to numb the emotional pain I had from an SA I had gone through years before. My parents did everything they could and we made the decision I would go to rehab. I rug tested for that rehab and found out I was pregnant and that was all the rehab I needed. I left my boyfriend at the time 
because he was still using and I had every test run possible to make sure I hadn't messed this sweet baby up by using. 12, almost 13 in August, I have a perfectly healthy baby boy along with two other children and he truly saved my life. Um, that is Tori Lee here in the comments who is claiming that. I'm so glad you were able to turn things around, Tori. Congratulations on your sobriety. I'm so glad that your children are healthy and happy. Mm -hmm. And um, thank you so much for sharing. We yes. really appreciate that. Um, this is the person, somebody sent me this. This is the Brenda person who apparently sent her money um at least so they claimed so i'm not sure how much how much she received here i'm looking to see where her comment is it's kind of hard to see she's such a light background oh here she says check cash app mm. great oops hold on that's not it hold on a second oh here got it this is the person who said check cash app and saying they were sending money it's like mom underscore mom underscore five yeah. i think she's live i can double check or if somebody could double check and confirm and i feel really bad because um this person is getting scammed mm -hmm. and her bio says that she is fighting stage four metastatic breast cancer one day at a time oh no and um Lisa is scamming this person. Lisa is scamming this person. That is terrible. I, I Thank hope you, Black so Widow. And that's why, you know, we, we don't want anything bad to happen to Lisa, but I am very empathetic toward her victims. You yeah. know, the victims of these scams, not just Lisa's, but the victims of these scams. Yes. Um, so I, you know, I feel bad. I, I hope that she does not keep donating to Lisa. Mm -hmm. I don't know if anyone has contacted her or not. Um, and this is probably somebody with a really good heart that um, is getting scammed. Right. <clears throat> Aw, thank you, Vegas. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Um, Simpin for Christ. I received a request from Justin and came online and she was saying to send to Anthony. Hmm, that's interesting. Hmm. Thank you, Black Widow. You saw my message to the other lady. Okay, I'm, I'm going through my emails. People are saying that they sent me emails. Yo, Taco Bell is the real addiction, y'all, because I'm in the drive-thru right now. <laughs> <laughs> They got a giant cheese at tostada that I just had to try. Yep. Oh, that's okay. Um, I, I received another email, and this is a little bit long, but it is very worth um, reading. Thank you, Casey. So I'm going to share this story um, so you can just, um, you know, listen. And um, thank you so much for the gifts. I appreciate you guys. Thank you, Road Trip. Um, this is a, a, a story that someone sent in, and I, I thank you for taking the time to send it in. It said, hey there, Scam Slam. Oh, Vegas. Thank you so much. Dream. Cool. Thank you. Um, so I'm going to read this um, message I received. Uh, yes, Big Blue Eyes. Um, I, I saw that month, like weeks ago, the original. I don't, hey, Scam Slam, I don't know if you want these kinds of stories or not, but I figured I'd offer a side of addiction that many people don't get to see. I have never used drugs beyond smoking 420 a handful of times as a teenager. I was always scared of drugs, but my best friend is in the grips of addiction. She has been for 25 years. Maybe as a penance, maybe as a reverence, whatever it was, I became a paramedic for her. I drive an ambulance and attend calls every day and night to people in their darkest hours. No one's ever happy to call me. Everyone is relieved to see me, but that feeling is a knife edge, and it all depends on whether the fates are playing fairly that day, and whether, by that time we say goodbye, that they are still glad that we showed up at their doorway. 
I have been to I've been to the soccer mom with the pill addiction, trying to cope with insurmountable stress on the inside and compliments of quote, I don't know how you do it all, unquote, from unsuspecting strangers on the outside. I've been to the 90 year old who needs the F patches because cancer is never merciful, but the pain relief is a chase that gets further and further away the more that they use them. To the homeless person who turns inward with their chemical calm because people stare down at them like humanity ends where tattered clothes begin. The teenagers excited to try something new and quote unquote cool who call us in a panic when the night gets too serious. The man who made a mistake and got caught once, who could never break that cycle and now uses his rug of choice to blur the felon stamp on his forehead. The toddlers that found mommy's special medicine and don't know well enough to not put everything in their mouths. I've seen them and held their hands and told some of their families, I'm sorry. I've quietly and surreptitiously opened the window to their soul, doesn't become trapped in this hellscape after my partner and I look at each other and mouth the words, quote unquote, we have to call it. Mm. I've held their crying friends and families and walked them through the next steps with words like, quote, medical examiner, unquote, and replacing their loved one's name with, quote, the body, unquote. It's dark and it hurts. Every last one of them rides with me every single day and night to work and home. So why do I even do this? Because once in a while, when I'm going about my day, I recognize a face and the memory of their darkest hour comes back to me. I think, is that such and such? It is. My goodness, she looks amazing. Sometimes I go up to them and tell them I'm so proud of them. Sometimes they recognize me and approach me first. Those souls didn't need me to open a window to free them. They freed themselves. That's why I'm here. To never forget that each moment for each person in these situations can go one way or the other. And, I, I, and if I can change it somehow to the happier, brighter outcome, then it is worth the darkness. Thank you for what you do. Yeah, very beautifully written and very, very heartfelt, yes. very heartfelt thing. And thank you for what you do. Thank you for all that you do. Uh, I hope you're still in here. Um, yes, I don't know if you shot could... Betty. Uh, Buck shot Betty. She Buck says shot this Betty. Was my, my email. Thank you for reading it. Thank you. Buckshot Betty. Thank you. That was passionate. That no, was passionate. No. Thank you so much for sharing. Keep doing what you do. Keep doing what you do. Uh, we appreciate you. Absolutely. Um, I have another story. You can claim this if you would like. Um, it was Buckshot Betty was the person mm -hmm. that um, sent that last one in. Um, the person that sent this can claim this. Um, Kat, it is scamslam411 at gmail.com. Hey, just wanted to say how proud of y'all I am for what you're doing, saving lives and helping others. I feel so comfortable in your lives and a lot of what you does touch home for me. I started spiraling out of control December 21st, 2009, the day that my mother passed away in my arms. Mm. Thank you, Deborah. Um... I still remember the last thing she said to me, quote, do you think I'm going to die? Unquote. I should say unalive. So sorry. I'm read, trying to read this word for word and I don't always translate it well. And that was it. She was gone. That day changed me for the worse. I started drinking, drinking heavily from the moment I opened my eyes every morning until I passed out. Usually in my own vomit. Mm. I also started smoking 420. E, the rug, if you know what I mean. Um, I don't know if I can say it's Coke, shrooms. I'm going to just say a variety of rugs, okay? I'm not going to name them all by name here because I don't want to get in trouble. Whatever I could get my hands on. 
It slowed down after my two older kids were born, and everything started getting better, except for the alcohol. My DOC. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you. I was on the night of December 19th, 2019, I was arrested for a felony DUI. CPS took my older two children and sent them to live with my ex-husband and my other daughter at the time went into the system. I fought for two years fighting for them, but CPS ended up winning and my doctor, daughter was adopted. My ex-husband was awarded custody of me after my two others, all while my oldest two oldest were being SA and physically abused by my ex-husband's wife and himself, then taken to live with their grandparents in January of last year. I had no idea. He had kept them from me since 2020. My kids still resent me after all these years. Ah, oh, heartbreaking. My eight-year-old daughter even asked her ther asked by her therapist how she would feel if I came to see her. She said, quote, if I had to see my mother again, I'd unalive myself, unquote. Oh, my gosh. I know that I failed my kids then. I live with that guilt every day that I couldn't do better and save them. Since that day in 2019, I've never touched another drink or rug. And I've started to work hard to keep my sobriety with all the trauma I faced. I can happily say I have four more kids happy and healthy here with me. Mm. I know my chances are slim that I'll never get my older kids back, but I'll keep fighting every day in hopes one day that they will know that I never gave up on them. And I will never go back to that darkness I let myself fall into. My kids will never see me fail again, or fall again, excuse me. Sorry for the trauma dump. I just hope to share a short piece of trauma I went through in hopes to touch someone else who may be struggling and also so they know they are not alone and they can overcome anything, one breath at a time. Thank you so much for sharing that. That was that so powerful. Very powerful, and that sounds, I, I just can't even imagine going through all of that. Um, the person claiming that is Magic School Bus. I'm so sorry, Magic School Bus, that you went through all that. I'm so sorry. That, that mama pain. Heartbreaking. Yeah. That mama pain is, is the worst pain there is. It's the worst pain is mama pain. Yeah. So sorry. I, I hope that you can find some peace. Mm -hmm. Everybody's here sending you love, hon. Um, right. Somebody sent me a screenshot that they did. <clears throat> Thank you, Maggie. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm losing my voice. Um, somebody sent me a screenshot that they did reach out to Brenda, that uh, person that is um, that they said that they sent money to Lisa. Um, I don't think there's a response yet, um, but this is what was sent. Thank you for sharing and thank you for reaching out to her. It says, hey, hon, I hope you're doing well. I was wondering if you know Lisa's true story. I thought I might have seen you potentially sent, giving her some sort of money. Lisa's a beggar slash scammer on this app and has been, on for, has been for a few years. She's currently in active addiction, and even her own family is asking for no one to give any financial assistance to her. Please join us at Scam Slam 411 if you want to learn more about her. Thanks, dear. So very polite, respectful um, message. And that's the type of thing we encourage. Um, hopefully she sees that message. Um, yes. That was from Explain in Detail. Oh, thank you, Explain in Detail. Thank you so much. Our wonderful mod. And also our little wonderful investigator. Yes, absolutely. Um, I, do, I do have another um, story. This person can claim it or not if you're here. First off, I'd like to say thank you for all y'all do. You, Polly, and Tattoo are my favorite live. Y'all continue to bring awareness to those who are scamming others, but especially those who are giving to those scammers. My ex-husband slash father of my children was going to a clinic similar to the one that Lisa is going to. Five years ago this past April, he went on a Friday and he received his doses for the weekend. He took them all on that Friday. 
Wow. And he was found and he was found Monday morning. He left behind our two children and five grandchildren who were just getting to know him. I'm a grateful recovering addict who's been clean for 12 years. My clean date is March 17th, 2012. I have two children. My daughter isn't an addict, but my son is, and he's been going to the methadone clinic for about four years. I'm grateful that he's doing that as opposed to injecting himself with rugs. See him and I used together for six years before I got clean. If you want to share this, I'm okay with it. Thank you again for sharing your knowledge, love, and kindness. Angela B is taking credit for that. She's here in the chat. She just responded and she has two blue butterflies in her comment. I'm so sorry, Angela. Yeah. I'm so sorry. All of the all of this is just like so heartbreaking and um so devastating. Um but I, I wish the best for you and and your kids. I, I hope that your son's doing okay with you know, with the clinic and all of that. Um it just, it just, you know, it tears people apart. It tears families apart. Absolutely. Absolutely. And thank you for sharing your story. Okay. Um, I have one, I have a, I have a email from Kat. She says that I can use her name. So she should be here in the, in the chat somewhere. Kat with two T's, K-A-T-T. -T. She said when she was younger, that her grandfather, she said, my grandfather was addicted to methadone. He couldn't stop using it. He was so messed up that he caught HIV because of his actions. Wow. One, one day he said he wasn't feeling well, so he walked to the hospital. My grandmother got a call a few hours later saying my grandfather had passed. And they said he took too much methadone, had a heart attack, and fell and broke his neck. Addiction is real. When I see other people go through this, it hurts. It reminds me of my grandfather. When I say I really appreciate what you guys do, I mean it. I wish back then there was someone to help my grandfather. Thank you so much, Kat. I'm so sorry about your grandfather. Yes. That's devastating. Mm. So sorry. Thank you for sharing your story. I know it's it's painful. It's painful. Um, but I'm happy to share these stories for you. Um, let me just check if there's anything in my spam folder. I just want to say that I love, I love that everyone is coming together. We're all here supporting each other. Everyone feels comfortable enough to tell their stories. And just thank you so much. This is such a powerful experience. And I hope we're really reaching people. Me too. Um, I do have one that I found here in my spam folder. So um, they, they are giving me their TikTok name. So... Uh, I'm going to include that. Thank you for what you're doing. My TikTok name is Hachi. I don't want to give out your name. I don't, I mean your age. I don't think, well, I guess that's okay. It's not your birthday. Um, they say I'm 32 years old. My husband passed away five years ago on May 28th, 2019. He spent seven days in ICU on a vent and two days in hospice. And then unalived in my arms. He was 29. Oh my gosh. Wow. His DOC was H, but the three years before his death, he was using rack. Mm. I remember recently that when cleaning our bedroom after his unaliving, I never found a rack pipe. I only found a syringe. I think he shot it up for the first time. He had a rehab intake appointment scheduled for the day after he unalived. He was 29. I was 27. We weren't even married for two years yet. The trauma has destroyed so much of me. I'm pregnant now and I'm grieving him all over again because this was supposed to be us. I miss him so much. She said this pic is okay to share and um, trigger warning if you don't want to see it, I'll, I'll describe it and you can decide if you want to see this or not. 
it is a picture of her holding his hand um, while he's in a hospital bed, but you can't see his face or anything. You can pretty much just see her holding his hand. So if you don't want to see that picture, then step away for a moment. Okay. I really, I really, really hope that Lisa is watching this right now. Me too. Oh, wow. That is such a powerful picture. Oh my gosh. I can feel so much emotion from it. I really hope nobody ever quite. They do. They certainly do. Yep, they do. They, yeah, they do. They really, really fucking do. You know, people can claim we're doing this for clout, for money. Right. Whatever. I don't care. Because anybody who's here knows why we're doing it. Exactly. You know, I'm crying too. Shit. <sighs> okay, I'll be the tough one here for you guys. Thank you. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm about to I'm about to chat out on this Taco Bell boy. Woo! <laughs> oh man. It's all right though. It's okay to be upset. It's okay because it's it's movement, period. I mean, this is what we're doing. We're we're creating a movement. And uh I don't think we're gonna stop and I really hope that Lisa is watching and she really sees this and, and, and she takes notes and uh, understands that this is real and uh, she can get above it. She can get above the drugs because the rugs because um, look at all these success stories. I know some of them are success and some of them are, you know, sadness, but um, and we hope those people that are sad are finding some solace in this because everybody, everybody is touched by this and it's. It's 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 an epidemic. You're absolutely right, butterfly. It's an epidemic that we're all a part of, and hopefully, um, hopefully, we can see Lisa find success, and then we can uh, the people who did lose and uh, and did uh, have people uh, lost in their life can find uh, something through Lisa and her success. So that's what I'm hoping for at the end of the day. Yeah. Thank you to that last person who sent that in. Um, that's. I know for me, so uh, I wish you the the best with your existing pregnancy. Uh, I, I hope that you can move forward and that everything is um, everything goes well and that you have a happy, healthy child and that you can move forward. For me, I can't express how good life can be. Like I may be sick with a genetic disease, but life sober is so much better and now i don't i don't even know who that person was when that i was when i was using like i for those of you who don't know i have um i'm very short of 31 years clean and sober from a pretty severe math addiction uh, i started using math because i had several traumas in my history um, i was abducted as a child and my son died um, and my sister unalive, and those things, as as well as a few others, were just too much. And I started using to kill the pain, and uh, I became severely addicted for two and a half years. And um, I don't even know who that person was. I mean, I lived on the streets. All my belongings fit into a JanSport backpack. I just. I, I wasn't living. I was doing schemes and scams to get, you know, money for rugs. And I finally hit rock bottom, which is different for everyone. And um, I went to a hippie commune and I got clean and sober there. I took myself away from everything um, that I knew and completely relocated. And I've been clean ever since. And now, I mean, someone could put it in front of me, and, you know, even, you know, I can say that for like, I probably struggled with it for about a year. Like if somebody would have brought it to me, I don't know if I would have relapsed, but, um, but yeah, I, someone could put it in front of me and I just be like, oh, that's disgusting. Like, why would you do that? You know? And I look at addiction now through the lens of someone who has been through it. Um, but addiction isn't just addiction it is based in trauma there's trauma 
trauma first. And if you're not dealing with the trauma while you're dealing with the addiction, it's so hard. It's like, it's like putting a bandaid over something like you're not, you're not cleaning out the wound. And that's why dual diagnosis treatment is so important for most people. Like I'm, I'm honored that I didn't have to do it, you know, in that sense, I should have, but I, I didn't have health insurance. I was, I was a homeless person who had no aims or goals in life. Um, because I was an addict, so I didn't have anything together enough for that. But, you know, it's really important that if people who have trauma go to treatment, they also deal with their emotional, you know, trauma that's going on. Oh, okay. I'm done talking now. My dog needs me. I'll be right Aww. back. <laughs> Thank you, Polly. Take care of your pup. Um, so a couple people are telling me to check my email because there's um, some other things that were sent in. They said uh, I can say their, their name, um, so I'm going to read it here. I'm Melissa. I'm only 25, and I've had to put down two of my ex-boyfriends due to rugs, both when I was 16 and 18. They were 18 and 23. They both use rack and H. I actually watched one of them unalive in front of my face. It's really sad. And again, I'm only 25. So I'm heartbroken to watch Lisa go through this. I really hope the best for her. And just like everyone, she deserves a happy life. I wish I could have saved them. Whatever you and do, whatever you and Polly do is amazing. I will never question what you guys do. Thank you so much for your time. We all relate. Thank you so much, Scam Slam. Yeah. Thank you so much, Melissa. Me and I, I am so sorry. And that is so, so difficult to, to deal with. And, and at such a young age, too. Oh. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Someone is asking me to reach out to Blackheart. Um, I do have her email address, so I can try to find that. Um, when I get a chance here, I'll, I'll see if I can locate that because she sent me an email a couple nights ago. So thank you so much for sending that in. It is heartbreaking, heartbreaking. Yeah. Uh, and our heart goes out to you. You, oh, that's so sad. Oh, there was a message back from Brenda. Oh, okay. Thank you to the person who sent me this as well. Here we go. Okay, did I miss this part? Who's Brenda? No. Brenda is the person that sent Lisa money during the last live. No, I have not heard back from Erica. I'm not sure if anybody else has. I did email her and I had not received any response back. All right. This is the person that sent Lisa money. Sorry if that looks a little blurry. Um, Brenda answered, sorry I didn't answer back. I had so many messages about this. A gal named Breezy, oh, Breezy I think is in here, or at least she usually is. Shout out to Breezy. A gal named Breezy messaged me and my $5 was refunded. Mm. Ah, Breezy, Breezy, Breezy in the chat. She asked me to come to Scam Slam, so I watched from the outside to check it out before I go to bed. I am now aware of her. I'm so sorry. I'm dealing with stage four cancer, and I wear my heart on my sleeve. I do ask that I don't get drugged down because of this. Again, thank you for reaching out. And we, we did not drag this person down. We did show their... Um, we did show their profile, um, and but based on their, their bio, you know, um, we pretty much had some sympathy there right away for her situation. And um, thank you to Breezy. Thank you to Breezy for reaching out. And um, that's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, and I hope that this Brenda person, I, I know she has a good heart, and I hope that she doesn't continue to donate to um to people on TikTok. I hope she's listening here. We didn't try to bash you or anything like that at all, Brenda. 
um, we were hoping that some people, folks reached out to you to warn you, yeah. um, to save you from being um, a victim to Lisa's scam. Um, it was it was not meant in any type of you know harassing way to to no. message you or anything like that. No, 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 no. So we hope you didn't take it as that, and I hope nobody sent you any nasty messages because we don't do that over here. No. If you received any ma nasty messages, um, we don't condone that here, and so I I wouldn't I don't believe that they would be any from anybody from over here. Several people are letting me wanting me to tell you that they sent emails in. Yep, I am getting there. That was okay. an email too, so I'm going through all my emails. Um, yeah, Brenda. Um, Brenda, I just want to send you some strength. It is so hard dealing with medical problems, and cancer is just, oh. Yeah. I, I hope she's okay. I, you know, we hope that Brenda is okay. We would not, wish nothing but the best for Brenda, and I, I just hope that... Um, yeah, that um, she doesn't donate to anybody else on on TikTok because yeah. they're, they're scammers. Yeah. Um, this is another email I received. Um, this person can claim it if they would like. Hi, Scam Slam family. I'm going to try to keep this brief, but that picture that was shown broke me because that is the reality. I've watched my cousin lay like that with a traumatic brain injury from an OD. She was found in a filthy shelter bathroom. A week later, I found out she was in Time Magazine a week earlier to her being in the hospital. She was under a truck booting H. My ex-husband and her oldest child's father was found a year later in a separate cemetery in the cold five minutes from my house. Thank you for the gifts. I had to have that hard conversation with a child who is autistic and doesn't understand why that was also her first time losing someone was close to her. It was the hardest thing I've had to do. But both of their passings, I, both of their passings, I was pregnant with my other two children, with my other two children additionally, I'm guessing, at the time. They were some of the hardest times I've been through. Not only that, but during these unalives, my sister has been heavily addicted to H and I had to go through our dad being on life support and unaliving by myself and her caring more about the rugs than our dad. She's still out there and being a part of this family gives me hope that even though I can't save my sister because I can't find her right now, that I can be a part of hopefully saving those kids' mom, AKA Lisa. I thank you for all you're doing your part because all of us do our part here and we are all there for each other. And then she put in all caps, also no one messes with this fam because we aren't the people trying to harm Lisa. We are trying to save her one day at a time because we do recover. Thank you. Thank you. I love you all. You can read this. And also to add this Monday, I have 13 years sober. The day after my 21st birthday, I got clean and thank God because I got pregnant with my first child three months after I got clean. Right on. Wow. Thank you so much for sharing that story. Yeah. And I'm so sorry for your losses. Um, did, it, did someone here in the comments claim that story? I'm not sure. Um, they don't have to. I just wasn't sure if I missed that. Because I'm when I'm reading these stories, I'm looking down at my screen. And I'm not reading the comments or anything like that. Bipolar. bipolar, yeah. Bipolar, XX bipolar. bipolar. We love you, bipolar. Yeah, we thank do. you so much for sharing. Always here so supporting good. us, always, every day. Yep, so happy to have you here. So happy to have you here. Um, it's a story, and um, someone again can claim this if they would like. On Christmas Eve, my boyfriend was hit by a train. Wow. He lost his right arm elbow down, and his toes on his right foot. He was addicted to H, and like any other rug he could get. Thankfully, he's still here. Every day is a struggle having to take care of him. He is unable to walk, and he's paralyzed on the right side. So um, that's all I was sent. I'm so sorry about that. 
I know that you're struggling and he's struggling every day. Um, Kayla Ann says that's her. She just commented. She has the profile picture that has it's blue, blue and white tone. So sorry, Kayla. I know it's a struggle and um, our heart goes out to you. Stay strong. It does. It really does. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing. Six months clean and I've been sober since Thanksgiving. Good for you guys. Guys, let's put some purple hearts in the chat. Put some purple hearts in the chat for everybody, yo. Yeah. Can we see some purple hearts, friends? Come on. Um, I don't even think I need to ask. <laughs> They're just going to flood it. <laughs> yeah. I got, another, I got another one, and I know this person is here, um, but they can claim this if they would like. Thank you so much for the gifts. I'm sorry if I'm missing some of those because I'm, I'm looking at my other phone. Love hey, you guys. Scan. You guys are awesome. Yep. So if you want to claim this, um, please put it in the comments and claim it. Um, there's someone on a fake account pretending to be me and Gabby's live right now. Well, um, what? You mean like what? Danny and Gabby? What? Definitely not me. I'm right here. Yeah. So <laughs> if anybody wants to go over and tell them, like, I'm live right now. Um, I do not have a way to clone myself. It would be really awesome if I could. I wish I uh, right. I wish I, I wish I could clone myself, but I I can't. I mean, I don't even watch them at all. So I, I never have this year. I love Wendy's world. Oh, people are telling her, Thank you, Wendy. Yes, and we love you, Wendy. We love you, Wendy. I haven't saw you in a long time. Girl. Yeah, we've been so busy. Yeah. But, but Wendy, you're amazing. And love we love it. your channel. Everybody go check out on Wendy's World. Um on and, YouTube. Without the vowels on YouTube and on TikTok as well. <laughs> Somebody said, scam, teach me your cloning ways. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so we're, um, I'm going to read the next story that I have. And this person can claim it. I know they are here because I just saw them comment. Hey, scam, I wanted to tell a little of my story. Back in 2017, I ended up in a mental ward from bath salts. Wow. I didn't know that's what it was. I was told it was math. I lost my mind so bad. I didn't eat or drink or sleep and answer questions. I couldn't think. I was walking in the street yelling and screaming, seeing things that weren't there. Till this day, I still can't make choices clearly. I talk backwards with some things and it's so hard to understand, so hard, so hard to explain anything I'm trying to say. When I went to the mental ward, it was my choice. I met a lot of great people there and had fun. I still have flashbacks till this day, and it is still so very hard to go to my hometown because of me on the streets yelling and screaming alone because that because my ex that did that to me was nowhere around me. My mom wouldn't allow me to come home, and I was just alone. I now met the love of my life, and when we met, he told me he's going to take me home and clean me up and get me clean. My math addiction at that time was so bad. It took over my whole being. I now have four kids and four stepchildren. I want to say thank you for everything all three of you are doing. I enjoy listening so much to you guys. You're amazing, and I'll always be a part of this awareness group. Much love. That was from Banana Bread Banana. You're amazing, Banana. Yes. yes, you are amazing. You're amazing. Banana. You're amazing. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for sharing and congratulations on overcoming that. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being here. We appreciate that. Yes. Um, this one is um uh they said that they go by I don't know if mm, let me see here. I'm not sure if this is their username in here. They said they go by Moo. She says, uh, she or he says, I'm 18 years old and I want to share my story. I believe it's a few. I think it's a woman. I'm 18 years old and I wanted to share my story. My whole childhood, my dad was doing every rug, you name it, and making broken promises and false hope. I lived with my mom up until I was eight, 16 years old. Well, she was on pills in 420, and it changed her. 
to the point where she pushed me away. Her husband of two years SA'd me up until I got kicked out. Wow. She knew I had nobody, but didn't care. Once I got kicked out, I started communicating with my dad again. Well, he shot up something in his arm and hit his head on the headboard, and his head was bleeding. I didn't know what to do, but hang up and scream and try, scream and cry and talk to God. Now I have no relationship with my parents, and I feel a little relieved. I went to a mental hospital and to therapy. I go twice a week sometimes.